Hello everyone. I wanted to make a video sermon today. I'm going to be in Matthew 25, uh, 14 through 29, I think it is, in the King James Version of the Bible. Uh, and it's a very familiar scripture about the talents. And uh, it says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto him his goods, unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. So he had ten. Likewise, he that had received the two, he also gained other two, made him four. But he that received the one talent went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. So if he had doubled like the other two, he would have had two two instead of one. After a long time, the Lord of that those servants came, cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he, he had received the five talents, came and brought other five talents, said, Lord, thou didst deliver unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord, of thy Lord. He also that received the two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents besides them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the, of the Lord. He that had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew that thou were hard man, art a hard man reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strewed. And I was afraid, and I went and hid the talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast what is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gathered where I have not strewed. Thou artest therefore to put my money to the exchanges, then at my coming I shall have received mine own, with usury. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which hath two ten talents. Use it or lose it. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he and he shall have abundance, but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. I think I'm going to read one more verse. And cast the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Um the, the master said, Well done. And I heard Brother Charles Underwood and other people say uh, that to get him to say well done, it has to be well done. Uh, I thought about when I was growing up, I told about Red Rover. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, we'd get out two weeks for Christmas, and we played a lot of marbles. We played ball, baseball, basketball, football, but we played marbles. And I remember this one particular Christmas break, uh, you had to have a lot of dirt to do marbles. And we had a lot of dirt. We didn't have nothing pretty for where I lived. But in the garage, it was a dirt floor. Uh, and it was kind of an outside garage, like in building. And we would make a circle. That's how you did to play marbles. And uh, we played for two weeks. Uh, we played every day. I should have got really good at it. I got pretty good, I guess, but I couldn't. I couldn't hold a light to some of them guys. And there was a couple of three little old poor boys. I lived near some where some poor people lived, a little place in Huntsville called Booger Town. And I guess some of them boys was from there. Uh, but anyway, they came real poor like boys, and I had marbles, and you know you you drew the ring. And uh, you put your marbles in the ring, and you took turns. If you shot your marble, however you shot it, if it stuck in the middle, you could shoot again. If you busted one out of the ring, and as long as your marble's still in there and you're still busting them out, you uh, you could keep playing. And this boy came, I'm telling you, he was good. That little boy was good. And he... Uh, he was taking my marbles. You can play for funsies, we call it, but you can play for keeps. We was playing for keeps. But he kept winning my marbles. And I thought, well, you know what it is. The, the marble you shot with, we call it a toy. And I thought, that's what it is. It's his toy. 
that toy is so good at sticking that that's what I need is his toy. So I swapped him, I think it was 20 or 25 marbles for his toy. We, we, I collected things like marbles and baseball cards and, and things like that at that time, you know, back when I was a kid. So I traded him 20 or 25 marbles for his toy. I got his toy. And he gets reaching probably one of the marbles I gave him, and he made that his toy. And he just kept on busting marbles out and kept on beating me. It wasn't his toy. You know, that's the way it is with talents. Um, you know, if I had their talent, if I had their money, if I had their toy, marble, it's not really what you have, but it's what you do with what you have. You, you use the, uh, you have to use the talents that you possess. The woods would be very silent if only the birds sang, if no birds sang except those that sang best. You can have your talent and somebody else have one that looks better and you can swap uh, our money or whatever you're talking about and they can just keep on prospering and you won't prosper hardly at all. The thing about it is, children of God, is a dog will never be anything but a dog. A tree will never be anything but a tree. But you can be anything that you want to that you can get approved by God. You know, I, I was thinking about, I played little league ball, baseball, and, and, uh, and a little football, not much. But, uh, you know, uh, it's like a funnel. And, and it starts off all these little boys in little leagues. And then some of them makes it to Babe Ruth. And then some of them makes it to uh, whatever the next step up. Some of them make it to the minor league. And on down here is just barely a few. There's been a few people from Huntsville that made the major leagues, but not many out of all the boys that played ball. Uh, starts off with millions of boys across the country. And then from there, the major leagues, and then the all stars, and then the Hall of Fame. It's just a, it's just like that funnel. And we start out, and people's going great, and then they don't have enough stick to it, and it only is a few that uh, is there at the end of the thing. The man that doesn't shoot for, who doesn't shoot for anything, will hit it every time. If you shoot for the moon and you miss, you may hit the stars. You may land among the stars. I tell our people, I ask them all the time, did you come looking for a miracle? If you come looking for miracle, miracles, you, you may see some. If you don't, that's about how many you're going to see. I thank the Lord for what he's placed down inside of me. I, 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 he gave it to me. It's not mine. If you ever hear me say something, I don't have nothing that good, but if you see something, hear something that you want to use, just go on and use it. Don't even worry about asking me because it's not mine. I just borrowed it from him if I've got anything. Uh, but if you'll give it to me, Lord, I won't hoard it. I won't keep it to myself. I'll release it to the people, even as you've given it unto me. I will pour it out. Uh, gifted is what you were given. You didn't earn that. You was gifted with it. Like like uh, like uh, handsome people, beautiful people, pretty people, cute people, whatever you want to uh, say. Uh, it's like they, some, some of them got their head up in the air and it's like they expect you to bow to them. And that, that would be, you know, it'd be something else different if they created their own prettiness, but they didn't do it. Uh, nobody wants to be born ugly. Nobody gets to be born pretty because they wanted to. It's a gift. It's just like singing. It's a gift. And everybody listening to me is gifted in some way. And, and some of the, these gifts, you can't buy it. You either have it or you don't. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, we'd take a cat and throw it up in there. I'm sorry. Don't, don't write me or call me. 
I was a kid, a little bitty kid, and we'd throw them off the porch. And those things amazed me. They just land on their face. You probably did too. Uh, and they land on, and that's the way some people are. Uh, no matter what happens to them, they just seem like they land on their feet. And I, I tip my hat to those people. You know, when you bring your gift somewhere, into a room or to the church or wherever, uh, wh whoever gets you gets access to your gift. Uh, it means if I've got a gift and I bring it and you could use it, then I'm an asset and not a liability. That means I will add to you and I won't, rather than take away from you. I believe we've got boxes wrapped up in us that we haven't op been opened yet. The servants in the parable about the talents, they're all gifted, but they wouldn't equally give gifted. Uh, they, they weren't supposed to compare their gifts with each other, but uh, they're just supposed to use them. You know, the, the God is, uh, and, and keep an open mind when I tell you this, he, he's not, I don't think he's, it's exactly fair, but I think he is exactly just. Um, it fair would have been to give every one of them boys two two gifts, but he knew what they could handle, and he was just in my estimation in giving them because he knew what they could handle. And I thank the Lord for for not giving me something I couldn't handle. I, I don't want something if I can't handle it. I don't want a uh, five talents if it's going to drive me crazy and I can only handle two. Um, he gave them all what he's given you, an opportunity. But whatever you do with your opportunity is what separates the men from the boys, the saints from the ain'ts, the victorious from the victor. The master in the parable gave him talents and he left it. And he left them. Do I, did, did I read your mail today? I thought about this old... A uh, minister I heard on the radio, he said, I'm just the mailman. I just come and open it up, and, and if there's any mail, I give it give it out to you. He said, now, if uh, I deliver a piece of mail that's a utility bill and it's too high, I just deliver the mail. And so I'm just delivering the mail today. Uh, it, it, I think it must be hitting some of you because it hits me. All a master wants to know today is from all of us is what did you do with what I gave you? What what have you done with the life he gave you? What have I done with the life he gave me? The mind he gave me, the talent, the time, the strength, the creativity. I don't have to be excellent on your level. I just have to be excellent on my level. You know, old brother one talent, he come up, he hit his talent, but he exposed his fears. Winners have fears too, but they bury the fear and expose their talent. Uh, brother Hubert Sampson, he, he talked about a little boy wanting to drive the car and his daddy said, no, you're too young. You don't, you know, he was, he didn't have a permit. And he said, uh, uh, can I drive it around the block? And he said, no. Nope. But one day he comes out and he said, you can move it. You can just move it back. Can I move it over here? Just move it back and forth. And then uh, he goes on a little while longer and he says, uh, you can take it around the block. Uh, you can drive it to the store. And then he says, here's the keys. And that's the way God is. He's wanting to see what you're going to do with what he gives you. God's not looking for ability. He's looking for availability. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by his ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it's stupid. Some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen, and others make it happen. Every, every author, book author, starts with the same alphabet. It's not what you have. It's what how you use it.
you, you'd be glad of your talent. You not, but you may not be able to sing, uh, and, and the singer wants to preach. The preacher wants to sing. You know, Shaquille O'Neal is a a great basketball player, but he he just wouldn't be any good in as a horse jockey. Uh, and a horse jockey would probably be a lousy basketball player, but they work in their field. They both can get be good. There's a potential seed of greatness within within all of us. And I, I may not raise the dead. I, I've never walked on water. Probably I, I never looked to. But there's so many things I can do, children of God. Don't dwell on what you can't do. But let's just dwell on what we can do. Uh, I've enjoyed doing this for you today. If you need me, my number is 256-508-4410. And uh, I might not get back to you right away, but I'll try to get back to you. And um, I care about you today. I care about whether you make it or not. And I care about whether you do good between here and there until the end and we'll, when we get to judgment. Uh, I want us all to be a help and not an asset. I love you. Until next time.